Alright, hello and welcome back, folks, to yet another No Name Aim game. Today's No Name Aim game is US Championship Volleyball. And, of course, it was made in Japan. You know, for a game depicting the um, US Volleyball Championship, or some variation thereof, they sure do have a lot of advertisements in Japanese. So, let's jump right into the game with this very misleading player select screen. So, I mean, you can hang out here, you can put in coins all you want. And you can keep mash at the start and nothing happens. Took me a minute to realize that's so the other person can jump in. I'm not entirely sure why you can't just skip right through this if you're playing this alone, but then again they probably figured back in the day in the arcades you wouldn't be playing this game alone. So this is of course a game about volleyball, as you've seen, definitely about volleyball, not about race cars or anything. But they decided to go with um men's volleyball. I'm not even sure if that's really a thing. I mean do men play volleyball? It seems like the big thing nowadays is uh, women playing volleyball. So, why, why would you waste such a ridiculous chance? I'm not really sure. This, it's a weird game. And just like even the, pre um, the premise itself is kind of weird. But hey, you've got monster trucks in the background, so it's... Definitely all American. Alright, so as I've awkwardly figured out, the second button is to jump. The first button is probably to hit. And I'm guessing, like most games back in the day, the third button serves no use. Maybe it's a taunt. Nope. So we set things up. He sets things up. I jump and spike. And that, folks, is how volleyball is played. There's not a whole lot to it. I can't quite tell if these characters are swapping around or not. Oh gosh! Did... Okay. So I'm not entirely sure how you can do this, but of course you can slide in this game. For all the good that does. Oh, oh, do time over! Time's getting low. Hey, shouldn't that be a penalty? Okay, it is. Yeah. So it's a penalty in volleyball if your guy uh, touches the ball twice after he does it. Yeah. It's just one of those games that you need to have a friend with you. Play it with them and see how that works. Also, there's a weird time to stop a little bit there. Oh, and you can't spike it even though it's like that? This game really has a very set way it wants things to go. It's not even doing like the NBA Jam thing where you can like switch around with people. It's, it's basically just like, okay, you hit it, your opponent's gonna hit it up, and you jump and spike. And your opponent's guy's gonna hit it, he's gonna knock it to his bad guy, who's gonna knock it up, and then you have to hit it back, your, your ally hits it up, and then you jump and spike, and maybe miss. So I'm not entirely sure what the thing going on in the background is, but unfortunately I've got plenty of credits, so let's play again. I don't know. I mean, usually arcade games, even if they are a little bit mediocre, at least you can play around with how you play them, but um, no? Oh, scored some points. I mean, it's... Oh, you can jump in, sir. How is that not a foul? Oh, this game. Wait, wait, and so we just swapped. No real reason why. We just randomly swapped characters. But of course, we can't swap when we're hitting it back to them. That would be too much variety in gameplay. I love some of these games. But it's like, I can forgive if you've got, like, seemingly mediocre graphics, and I can forgive if you've got, like, lame gameplay, but I can't really forgive if you've got gameplay that consists of, like, the exact same thing over and over again. Exactly the same over and over again. It's... a little frustrating. Of course, I better watch it, or else I'm gonna start doing the exact same thing over and over again, and just start complaining about it, and that's no fun. So if you look in the uh, scoreboard, apparently one of us is New York and the other one of us is Georgia? And of course we're playing in Daytona Beach. 
I, I guess I could give him a pass and say it's on neutral. But oh, dude! Own them. They're just like looking at it. They're like, where did these losers find the strength and willpower to do this? So, oh, like I was saying, we're, we're playing New York. Okay, so we're New York. They're Georgia. We're playing in Florida. Monster trucks are probably shipped in from California. How much more ridiculous can this game get? I wonder if I can set it back to him. Just kind of set a bad example. Also, I'm not really sure how entering in more credits helps. So, I mean, it evidently prolongs the game. Which I assume... Well, okay, I could hope at best there were like four quarters or something. But I don't think there are. I think it just adds more time on the clock so we can lose a little harder. Oh, thankfully my... Partner was all over that, right? Oh no! I guess it does end. <laughs> Look of abject shame. Poor little sad game over screen. Indicating that you really have hit the bottom of the bottom. Oh, and it and it jumps right in again. Maybe if I don't select the side, it'll it'll let me get away with not playing. Oh, there's no timer. It's waiting for me. It has it out for me. It knows what it's doing. Fine, I can't end it here. I also like how one guy's in the red, one guy's in the yellow. And it's like, what does that even signify? Why shouldn't the two guys with the same shorts be on the same team? I do like the um, blue on the uh, net thing, though. That's one of my more favorite shades of blue. And it's paired with white, which is another one of my more favorite. Home of Le Mans, of course. It's ridiculous. Alright, so you saw, I served, right? And then I tried swatting at it too soon. But, come on, in real life, if you miss the first one, you're just gonna go for it again. Some of these gameplay mechanics are a little iffy, at best. I do like the um, little character, though, on the board. If you've ever played Twinkle Star Sprites, it really reminds me of Nanja Manja. Maybe a bit more arms and legs than you're used to, but what the heck. Nanja Manja all the same. Also, it's Sail Doi? I don't know. It's, it's gotten bad enough that I might as well just scrutinize everything I can see, because there's not a lot going on gameplay-wise. Well, I guess now I'm becoming a Oh, and he missed. Don't. This this game is more than a little frustrating. Just nothing happening and nothing at all. Cripes. Well, uh, it's, I've got to escape. So it was kind of fun. We we played a volleyball arcade game, which had all of it. There's nothing outright wrong. There's no sort of bugs or anything. It's just. The gameplay mechanics are ridiculously stale and one-dimensional. They might not even be one-dimensional, they might be like zero-dimensional. But hey, we had a fun time. The graphics are pretty good, I'll give it that. So, this cat's got a scat.